What are microclimates and why are they bad in indoor or greenhouse cultivation? Microclimates are different climate pockets that exist within an overall climate surrounding it. For indoor growers, eliminating microclimates is a high priority. Microclimates in enclosed grow spaces can cause stress to the plants, disease, powdery mildew, and loss of yield. A well-designed grow room will have plenty of air circulation to ensure that there are no areas within the growing space where microclimates with cold, hot, humid, dry, or stagnant air exists. Airflow is critical to maintaining fresh air around the plants and to provide a constant flow of CO2 to the stomata on the bottom of the leaves to provide peak photosynthesis rates. Several factors can lead to unintentional and undesired microclimates existing within the indoor growing environment. Most microclimates are caused by uneven or inadequate airflow or poorly designed internal air movement. Other contributing factors also include the actual light systems being used. While multiple light bars and panel LED lights are ideal grow lights for efficient and even light distribution, the heat generated from multiple LED bars and large LED panels tend to condense heat in a central area under the LEDs. That may result in a microclimate directly over the canopy. This problem is amplified when large flat panel LEDs are used. When using flat panel LED systems that are designed as a single large continuous panel, it will be harder to supply the canopy with fresh air from air conditioners or fans as the panels may block the airflow significantly. Large flat panel LEDs can block most of the vertical airflow around the plants, resulting in stagnant areas. The concentrated heat and moisture in the central area under the light creates a dead air zone that's quickly formed around the leaves, which reduces the plant's ability to respirate and can greatly slow growth. Microclimates also allow a greater chance for the crops to start having other problems, such as powdery mildew and bug or pest infestation. Multiple LED bars and especially LED panel lights also create a drop ceiling effect in the grow room. Multiple LED panels can combine to create an artificial ceiling, which will also make the maintenance of devices like air conditioners, dehumidifiers, and fans difficult if those devices are positioned above the LED panels. Today's advanced LED lighting systems do a tremendous job of replacing inefficient HIDs. However, different LED fixtures are designed for different purposes. In general, Multiple Bars LED Grow Light is designed for multiple tiers grow rack system, which has lower ceiling and requires better light distribution. To overcome the microclimate issue created by multiple LED bars, vertical air systems can be implemented to supply fresh air into the central area under the grow light, which improves the airflow and reduces the risk of microclimate. Single bar LED grow lights are the best solution to eliminate the possibility of inadvertently creating microclimates within your grow space. With a single bar LED grow light fixture, all of the LEDs are concentrated into a single long strip, which eliminates the drop ceiling effect entirely. Think Grow Model I series have been engineered for greenhouse top lighting and for single tier indoor grow areas. The patent-pending V-shape LED bar design improves light distribution, which allows a lower hanging height distance and greater light spread over the canopy than other single bar LEDs. With a slim design and high wattage output at 720 watts, Model I series are delivering the perfect spectrum and very consistent distribution of light intensity without creating any microclimates that can cause stress or reduce yields. Model I, a true HID replacement.